Our at-home ritual for Holy Saturday uh, involves making your own Easter candle, or also called Paschal candle. Light is such an important image. It's one of the main images in this liturgy, talking about the light of Christ coming into the world, bringing light to our darkness. And so, um, like the rest of our at-home rituals, we have prepared a resource for you, and you can find it on our website, and I'll link it in the comments below. Um, but also, I'll just show you how to do this. It's very simple. Um, and so sometime prior to the Holy Saturday Liturgy, um, you, this involves just a little bit of planning because you have to search out a candle in your home. Um, it could be a tall, pass, uh, a tall um, pillar candle or um, a short little candle. Ideally, it's white. It doesn't have to be. Whatever you have in your home will work. So find the best sample for um, yourself. Um, and then um, we've included what symbols to draw on your cross uh, in the resource, or <laughs> what symbols to draw on your candle in the resource. Essentially, it is a cross, and then the letter A, which stands for alpha at the top of the cross, and omega, which is like an upside down shoe, uh, horseshoe at the bottom of the cross. Um, and then some other, the, just the date. And so you can find that in the resource, but also um, in last week's bulletin, it was there. And I have some samples. I did a little bit of arts and crafts this morning just to try it out to see the various things. So I have three samples to show you. Um, the first is a, a tall candle, like these came from the dollar store, or one of those stores. But again, you don't have to go out, you'll make do with what you have. If you have a glass, if it's inside glass, you could use this method. This is just paper. Um, it, I just had some extra like um, sparkly paper. And so I use that to cut out a cross and then the alpha and the omega. And um, the, what's nice about these is they're the same forwards and backwards. So you can draw it on the back of the paper and then cut it out and it comes out right. Um, and then, um, I had, you're gonna put the year 2020 on it. So thankfully I had some stickers. And so I have 2020. And then um, part of our Paschal candle at church, Father Daniel inserts five grains of incense into it and they represent the five wounds of Christ. And so I just did a whole punch and put out five little circles. So you could do this freehand or however. If you have um, one of those die cut machines at home, lucky you, you could print it out and if you have sticker paper, you could use that. <clears throat> so again, if it's in glass, so it won't burn down and burn the paper or whatever, I would say um, just using some um, tape and or maybe some glue would work just fine. Um, so that's one method. The another one would be, um, this is just Sharpie marker. So I just had some Sharpies and I drew a cross and then an alpha and an omega. Actually, I drew the alpha and omega first because I didn't know how much room I would need. So I did those two, I did the cross and the year, and then I had some stickers, which were little dots. So I used those for the incense. Um, but you could do whatever works. You could use all Sharpie. You could just use one color it's up to you. You could get as creative as you would like. Um, you could also, if you have young people in your house, they could each make their own in whatever version they would like, if you had enough candles. Uh, the last candle I have to show you, this is just acrylic paint that it just gets painted right on. I used all acrylic paint for this. Mm, you can't really, I did the year in yellow, so it's a little bit hard to see on the screen, but it is there. I try to, I read somewhere where you could like carve out part of a candle and then pour a melted crayon in there and it would like take the form. Well, I couldn't make it work, but if you're crafty, you know, give it a try if you want to do that so that you could have an inset. It, it, you could make this as elaborate or as simple as you would want. Um, but again, uh, you'll just, uh, put those um, images on, uh, those symbols on your candle. And then during the Easter Vigil, which will begin at eight o'clock on Holy Saturday, um, near the beginning, 
Father will bless the candles that we will use in our churches, the big, tall Paschal candles. And at the same time, you're invited to uh, mimic what he is doing. And so he will say, let's choose one. We'll choose this one because it's the biggest. So, and the big candle, he'll say um, some things and, that, and he'll point to something or trace something. And so as he does that, you'll do the same on yours. So, uh, he'll begin with Christ yesterday and today, and he'll touch the um, vertical bar, the beginning and the end, he'll touch the horizontal bar, the alpha, which is this A symbol, the alpha um, and the omega, and he'll touch each of those. Those stand for the beginning and the end of time. Alpha is the beginning of the Greek alphabet, and omega is the end of the Greek alphabet. So um, in church worlds, we tend to talk about God being the beginning and the end. So they use the Greek alphabet to talk about that. So that's the alpha and the omega. Um, all time belongs to him, and he'll touch the first zero, and all ages, and he'll touch the second zero. Uh, to him be the glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. And so you'll just mimic what he does. If you're um, very interested in how it's going to happen, that's also in the resource so you have an idea. And then he'll um, touch the five grains of our pretend incense. And he'll say, by his holy and glorious wounds, that's the middle one, May Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. And at that point, the candle has been blessed, the one at church, and it will be lighted. And so at that point, you can light your candle as well. And so that brings us to the end of how to do this ritual. Um, the purpose isn't to be more work or a silly task. It's about uh, being able to be drawn in to what is happening and to being uh, to having things that you can use to pray with to remind you that in what is going on right now is really crazy but you're not alone that God walks with us that he brings light into our darkness and so have fun with it